Okay, gamer sauce, Max here. Now, everyone knows Pokemon X and Y is the worst Pokemon game of all time. Or is it? What if I told you it was really an underrated classic? Roll the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, Max the Game Boy here, and today I'm going to be talking about possibly one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time, Pokemon X and Y. Now, these games are kind of really controversial on the internet and all over, really. Some people like it, some people love it, some people hate the game, some people kind of like the games. And I'm going to be talking about why I love this game, and I'm going to be talking about some of the controversies behind it and my opinion on some of them. And I'm also going to be talking about some of my favorite parts of these games. So, let's get into it. So, one of my favorite parts of Pokemon X and Y is the region itself. The Kalos region, to me, always felt really cool and diverse. You've got all these glittering caves and icy areas, but you've also got, like, a spooky area and, like, a fallish type town as well as a big, bustling city with, like, an Eiffel Tower, Lumino City. But then you've got all these small little urban and country towns it's just it's always felt really diverse and other um regions like hoenn and kanto they always kind of felt uh, like not as interesting to me as the kalos regions of course they don't all have to be crazy interesting i in can enjoy like the chill feel but still i like kalos has just always felt like a really diverse and unique region with a lot of cool areas that you don't see in every Pokemon game, and that's one of the reasons I love Pokemon X and Y so much. Another reason I love Pokemon X and Y so much is because it introduced the customizable feature for your trainer, allowing you to try so many diverse pieces of clothing to customize your trainer, which is really cool because you can just customize it more and make it feel more like you to better immerse yourself in the game. And all the pieces of clothing are really cool and they have a ton of different pieces of clothing, which is really cool and just one of the reasons why I love Pokemon X and Y. Yet another reason why I love Pokemon X and Y is because the music is just really good and it really resonates with me and yeah, it's pretty much it, the music's just really good. Finally, I have two other quick reasons why I love Pokemon X and Y. One, because the professor in the game, Professor Sycamore, he's just always been one of the coolest prof professors in my opinion. He feels pretty present throughout like most of the Pokemon game, which some professors aren't. They're just kind of int introduced and then they like are never show up again. But in this game, he's like visits you throughout the game. He's also, I believe, the first professor you can actually battle in a Pokemon battle, which was really cool. He was just overall a pretty cool professor. Lastly, I was a big fan of Pokemon Ami. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but whatever. Basically, it would allow you to pet your Pokemon, feed them, and play activities with them, which kind of strengthened your bond with them as well, and they would do better in battle. It also just made it so, like, you could better connect with your Pokemon, which was really cool. Now that we're done with those things, let's talk about the controversial stuff. First off, I'd like to talk about the Pokemon X and Y rival. These rivals are not very popular on the internet, but I, for one, think they're pre pretty good. Not as well as good as other rivals in other games, but I think they're pretty decent. For one, the rivals in X and Y always kind of felt like the different kinds of people who play Pokemon. Shauna on the far left likes to have fun, like a lot of people who play Pokemon. Tierno, next to Shauna on the right, is more into trying tons of new moves, which I like to try a lot of different moves. Trevor in the middle likes to f collect Pokemon and fill out the Pokedex, which is kind of what I like to do as well. And there's a lot of people who will spend hours collecting all the Pokemon for the Pokedex. And Calum and Serena on the far right are more competitive and want to level up their Pokemon and be the very best. And there's a ton of trainers who like to play competitive or level up their Pokemon. So I don't really think the rivals are as bad as a lot of people say sure they're not the best in my opinion but i still think they were pretty good next up is mega evolution which was introduced in pokemon x and y mega evolution is when leveled up pokemon that have been fully evolved can temporarily in battle 
change to a stronger form and get a big boost to their stats and get the upper hand in battle. I personally really like Mega Evolution. A lot of people hate it because it can be very overpowered at times, but it was kind of overpowered in Pokemon X and Y because this was like the first time they introduced Mega Evolution. And since then, they've kind of been changing it and making it less overpowered and more balanced, which is definitely good. And I like to see that Mega Evolution has made quite a few returns in recent Pokemon games. So again, I'm a huge fan of Mega Evolution. I don't really understand why already super powerful Pokemon like Mewtwo and Rayquaza or Rayquaza got Mega Evolutions because they're already so overpowered. I guess Mewtwo isn't as overpowered, but still they're legendary Pokemon. But it's still very, very cool. And I think there's a lot of like weaker Pokemon they could add um, Mega Evolutions to to make them uh, more powerful and better in battle. Some Pokemon I think would be pretty cool for Mega Evolution would be Confagrius, Raichu, and Golurk. I think they have some really good potential to be Mega Evolutions and are some good idea for future Mega Evolutions and future Pokemon games. Lastly, on the controversy train, I'd like to talk about how a lot of people say Pokemon X and Y is easier than other Pokemon games. And yes, it is, partly because they give you a Mega Evolved Lucario two gyms in, and that can kind of crush pretty much anything. But that doesn't necessarily make it a bad game. Uh, Pokemon X and Y has so much great things about it. The characters, all the new features... And you don't have to use that Mega Evolution Lucario. And even if you do, it's still a fun game, even if it's a little easier. I mean, games like Kirby are pretty freaking easy, but it's still a very fun game. And I still think Pokemon X and Y has a lot to offer, even if you think it's a pretty easy game. And yes, I admit giving you a Mega Evolved Lucario two, gym, two or th three gyms in was kind of not the best idea but nintendo was still um workshopping mega evolution and just kind of getting a feel for it so i can kind of understand and again the game is still tons of fun hey everyone that was the end of my review slash tackling of controversial issues with pokemon x and y i hope you enjoyed and i hope if you weren't as big of a fan as pokemon x and y as i was i was able to kind of help you like that game a little bit more. And if you were always a pretty big fan of Pokemon X and Y, like me, know that not everyone hates the game. I enjoy the game a lot, and I hope you guys do. So thanks so much for watching. Comment video ideas down below. If you like this kind of content, like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next video.